Hi guys, thanks for joining me and welcome to the next episode of my van build series. In today's video I'm going to be carrying on with the kitchen. If you haven't seen the previous video, I made a couple of kitchen base units out of an old wardrobe. You might be interested in that video, so I'll put a link to that at the top of the screen now. In today's video I've got one more kitchen base unit to make for the Baby Belfast sink and that's going to be of a different construction to the previous units and I've also got an oak dining room table which I'm going to be using for the worktops so I need to strip that back and prepare that um, ready to be used as a worktop so I hope you find value in this content if you do please don't forget to give the video a like and if you consider subscribing to the channel that would be fantastic if you click the little alarm bell you'll get notifications when I post new videos and uh, I hope you enjoy this video Cheers guys. I've just been to pick up this baby Belfast sink or butler sink, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm really pleased with it. It's got these cracks in it, which I think add to the Add to the look, it's kind of a bit vintagey. It's nice, I like it. So we'll clean it up as best as we can and then we'll be using this in the build. Cleaning out all these little holes. So the problem is I need to remove this porcelain drain hole um, and I've got a feeling it's like glued in here. So it might be a case of knocking it out I want to replace it with one that's got a plug that you can put in it so I can fill the sink up. I'm going to have to do something else now because it's broken. Beautiful. Sorry I got a bit carried away there. Didn't realise the camera wasn't focused. That's good. So we can put whatever insert we want in there now. I'm just going to use a plastic bag to plug this sink up. And then I've got some vinegar in here and that's supposed to be good for cleaning porcelain I think. We've also got loads of bicarbonate of soda. Washing up liquid in here. And finally some boiling hot water. overflow oh look at that lovely so on the underside of this sink we've got some markings which is quite interesting j and r howie limited i've looked this up it was made in scotland i believe and um, they also made bricks if you know anything else about it please let me know in the comments i'd love to hear from you but there we go. So I need to build one more base unit for in here and it's going to go across the door slightly and I want to utilise this base for taking a clean water container in there and you'll be able to access that from a little door on here. I build the sink base unit out of 25mm roofing batten, a common material I've used throughout the build. It's joined together using a combination of pocket hole screws and glue to make for a nice strong construction to support the baby Belfast sink. I do love this pocket hole jig. It's very handy. So I've got two frames, and that's going to go in there. Just want to put a bit of glue on these pocket hole joints. That's the bare bones construction of the sink unit. I've put a batten piece around here just to hold the sink in that position inside the unit. And that's so we've got an even space either side of the sink and so that it overhangs the front of the unit. I've built the top of the unit the same level as the edge of the sink so that when we put the worktop on it will sit on top of the edge of the sink 
and we can run a seal around here to stop water getting down inside the unit. So here I have this solid oak dining table. I managed to get this off the Facebook marketplace and I'm planning to use this as the worktop. It's got this funky colour to it, it's sort of greeny yellow. So I want to strip it off and take it back to, to its natural colour. So that will make a nice finishing piece for something. I'm going to be using some nitro moss to remove the varnish off of this. How to use? Paint it on, scrape it off. I haven't got any more paint brushes, so I'm just going to use this sponge for now. Let's just chuck it on here. That's good. It's supposed to take five to ten minutes, but it's already blistering. Right, let's try and scrape this off then. Wow. That's quite satisfying. Let's get a little bucket to put all this mess in. I'm just going to zip this edge of the worktop off. It was a bit of a rough cut, so this will clean it up. So I'm going to run the router around to round off the edge. So the hob was from Argos, I'm really pleased with it, I think it looks of a good quality and I didn't actually pay too much money for it. I ordered one off of Amazon before it turned up and I didn't like the knobs, they were really plasticky so I sent it back and I got this one and I'm impressed with this one, it looks nice. It comes with natural gas nozzles in it so you have to change these to LPG before you can use it but it should be fine for in the van. Um, this is the supply for the igniter and I'm just going to put a plug on this and plug it in behind the fridge there. The next job is to cut a hole out in the worktop for this to go in and I want to make sure it's in the right position. So I've got it in position where we want it and I'm just going to use a pencil to mark around the edge and we can make sure it's square with the worktop in a minute. It's marked out, I just need to go and cut it out. I'm just going to zip the wrap around to clean up this edge. Bit of Osmo oil. That's with one coat of our Osmo oil. It looks quite dark at the moment, but it should dry a bit lighter. I went for the clear satin finish. I like this finish because it looks classy um, and it protects the wood. It makes it water repellent, so ideal for a worktop. That's the sink base unit in position. I need to decide whether I want the worktop sitting flush with the edge of the sink, whether I want it overhanging in a little bit like that or tucked away like that. But I think I'm gonna go with it sitting flush with the edge of the sink so that when I build the front of this unit out of this pine, We'll have a little bit of an overhang there, um, but not too much. So I think it will look neatest that way. I've got a little bit of an overhang around the edge of the sink here, so that when we seal the worktop to the sink, you won't be able to see the joint. I'm now gonna take the dimensions from this template and mark it out on my oak, and then we can go about cutting it out nice and neatly using a router. I'm gonna jigsaw out roughly close to the edge where I want my cut out, just to get rid of some of the material. So I've put this framework around here, 
um, using some scraps of ply and this piece of plastic. It's all clamped down so when we run our route around none of them can move. I've got my flush cut route a bit in here with the bearing and I'm just going to run the bearing around the edge of this framework to give us a nice clean cut. This is a piece of worktop for the sink unit. I just need to put a beveled edge on this end and across the back. Then we can sand it down and give it a coat of Osmo oil. the worktops in place. I'm really pleased with how it's looking so far. I think the oak worktop complements the sink nicely and this Osmo oil really brings out the colour of the oak and it gives it this nice satin sheen and of course it's giving protection to the wood as well to stop it going mouldy. Sneak preview of the tiles I'll be using for the splash back there and I'll be working on that in the next video. So stay tuned and hopefully I'll see you then. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.